6th grade, Module 4, Lesson 8, Problem Set. Number 1. State the commutative property of addition using the variables A and B. So remember, the commutative property of addition is something like saying 4 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 4. Right? doesn't matter what order they're in. It can um, be flipped. So that is the same thing, but they want us to say it using variables A and B. So let's say that A is 4 and B is 2. So if we could say A plus B is equal to B plus A. State the commutative property of multiplication using the variables A and B. So same thing, like we're doing 4 times 2 is equal to 2 times 4. So if A is two, 4 and B is 2, we can say a times b is equal to b times a, always. State the additive property of zero using the variable b. So if we had, so the variable, the added property of zero is like, let's use b as two again. So two plus zero is equal to two. So if we replace the twos with b, we can say b plus zero equals b. And the multipl multiplicative identity property of 1 using the variable b. So let's use 2 for b again. And the multipl multiplicative identity property says that 2 times 1 equals 2. Or, if we replace it with b, b times 1 equals b. So demonstrate the property listed in the first column by filling in the third column of the table. So the commutative property of, dish, of addition, 25 plus c, if we were to show that property, it's just flipping. So it is equal to c plus 25. So they can reverse order and we still get the same thing. Commutative property of multiplication, length times width. So for example, if we're doing area, length times width is the same thing if you did the width times the length. So you can flip the order h plus 0 is equal to just h. And v times 1 is equal to v. Number 6. Why is there no commutative property for subtraction or division? Show examples. So let's try, let's just try something for subtraction. So if we had 4 minus 2, does that equal 2 minus 4? I put negative. Is that the same as saying 2 minus 4? Well, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Does 2 equal, I don't know why I put those parentheses around it. Is 2 equal to 2 minus 4 is negative 2? No, that doesn't work. So you can't flip the order of a subtraction problem. We already know this. If you flip the order of a subtraction problem, it's a different problem. We can, let's do a division problem. So if we have 4 divided by 2, that's 2. Is that equal to 2 divided by 4? Well, 2 divided by 4 would be 2 fourths. So those, again, are not equal. So it just doesn't work for subtraction. So we could say the commutative property doesn't work for subtraction. or division.